As President Bola Tinubu continues his early days in office, he's engaging with various stakeholders across the country. In his meetings today, discussions primarily revolved around security, economy, and the political landscape. Two traditional rulers, namely the Emir of Borgu and his counterpart from Kontagora in Ninja State, arrived for a meeting with the president. Following a closed-door discussion, the purpose of the visit becomes clear, addressing the present security situation in the state, among other things. We talked about security challenges, which is also confronting the entire nation. And uh, we believe that it's going to do something. We told him what actually is going on in our areas. And we want him to come to our aid. And uh, he has promised he's going to do his best in terms of uh, this secret challenge. We congratulate him and also to pray uh, with him. That's all. And secondly, uh, secondly we discuss about the uh, recent issue of uh, insecurity in our area. And uh, roles. that's all. Meanwhile, Governor Abdullahi Sule of Nasrawa State also pays a visit to the presidential villa, prompted by the recent attacks by bandits and ongoing crisis, where two speakers have emerged in the State House of Assembly. A few days ago, we had almost 20 uh, something people who were kidnapped at the main highway coming to Abuja. But God so kind, we were able to get all of them uh, back. You know, and then um, last week, we got some few expatriates again that were kidnapped. At, our, at their site, you know, between Garoku and Dari. And uh, again, we were able to get all of them out yesterday. You know, so I'm sure Mr. President got his security report that some of those issues uh, came up. And then there was also uh, another problem within the House of Assembly. I think Mr. President wanted to know more about that. So that's what I use the opportunity to brief him what is really happening. Chinubu had earlier in the day met with the Managing Director of the Niger Delta Development Commission the agency responsible for developing the all rich Niger Delta region. This marks the president's first engagement with the NDDC. Well, I think uh, just to brief him on the status of my agency and our vision too on what we intend doing to support the administration of Mr. President. At least it's an interventionist agency, so at least just intervening on the development of the region. So we have different programs. The most important that these programs must also be in line with Mr. President's vision. So he has asked us to do certain things and get back to him. So <clears throat> once we put that together, we'll get back to him again. Amidst the country's anticipation of the potential effect of food deregulation of the downstream oil sector and the removal of petrol subsidies, the group CEO of the state-owned company, NNPC Limited, also pays a routine visit to the president. It's a routine. We briefed the Mr. President of critical national engagements that the NNPC does on behalf of Nigeria and Nigeria's and I'm happy that Mr. President is abreast of what we're doing. In other news, Femi Gbajep Yamila has officially resumed his role as the Chief of Staff to the President. He was warmly received by senior staff in the villa. Adesua, Omoruan, Arise News.